This video is about one population case. Testing concerning means. Inferences from one sample. Tests for the mean mu. If the normal distribution is used, X bar or the mean as a test statistics is transformed into the G statistics using the formula. The computed G is equal to X bar minus the hypothesized value of mu divided by the standard division of the sample over the square root of n. Whichever is appropriate, if the student is the distribution is used, the X bar or the mean is transformed into the T statistics with this formula. Computed T is equal to X bar minus the hypothesized value of the mu divided by the sample standard division over the square root of N. Flow chart for hypothesis test on the mean. If the amount of data is large, we use G statistics with known standard division but if the amount of data is not large and the parent histogram is not normal we have to consult a statistician but if the parent histogram is normal and the population standard division is known then we use g statistics if the population standard division is not known then we use t statistics is the table on test concerning the population mean with null hypothesis mu is equal to the hypothesized value of the mu where mu is a specified hypothesized value of the population mean if the standard division is known g test is used so we can use the alternative hypothesis either mu is less than the hypothesized value or mu greater than the hypothesized value or mu is not equal to the hypothesized value with the rejection region of computed g lesser than the negative of g alpha or the critical level then we can use the rejection region for mu greater than the hypothesized value of mu as computed G greater than the critical value of G. While if the alternative hypothesis is mu not equal to the hypothesized value of mu, then we can have the rejection region in either the left or the right tail of the normal curve, either the negative or the positive values. Case number two, when the standard division is unknown, t-test is used. So we may use the alternative hypothesis as mu less than the hypothesized value or mu greater than some value or mu not equal to some values with a rejection region which is taken from the table of the tests. The tests are exact alpha level tests for samples from a normal distribution. However, they provide good approximate alpha level test when the distribution is not normal, provided that the sample size is n greater than 30. So, n greater than 30, uh, it means that we have large sample. Case 3. If the variance is unknown and the samples are greater than 30, we have to use the G-tests. But we have to replace the sigma by S. That is, computed G is equal to X bar minus mu divided by S over the square root of N. So this is the tabulated G values for the common traces of alpha. For G alpha, 0 0.01 level, this is equivalent to 2.33. For 0 0.05, 1.645. For 0 0.10, the critical value is 1.28. For G alpha divided by 2, at 0 0.01 level of significance, the critical value is 2.576.
for 0.05 level of significance, 1.96, and for 0.10, it is 1.645. Example 1 mil tests. Question Does an average box of cereal contain more than 368 grams of cereal? A random of samples 25 boxes show the mean, which is equal to 372.5 grams. The company has specified the standard division to be 15 grams. Test at the alpha of 0.05 level. So we could have the null hypothesis as mu is equal to 368 grams. For the alternative hypothesis, mu is greater than 368 grams, where mu is equal to the true mean content of the serial. Example solution. This is a one-tail test. It's null, mu is equal to 368 grams. It's a, mu is greater than 368 grams. So we have the alpha level of 0 0.05 with the number of samples is equal to 25. The critical values is 1.645. We have to use this test statistics, G, is equal to x bar minus mu over the standard division divided by the square root of n. 372.5 grams minus 368 grams divided by the standard division of 15 grams over the square root of 25. This is equal to 1.5. So since 1.5, the computed G, 1.5, is less than 1.645, which is the critical value of the tests, we fail to reject the null hypothesis at alpha equals 0 0.05. We can conclude that the sample does not provide Sufficient evidence to support that the true mean is more than 368. Example of a total test. Does an average box of cereal contain 368 grams of cereal? A random sample of 25 boxes showed a mean is equal to 372.5 grams. The company has specified a standard division to be 15 grams. Test at the alpha of 0 0.05 level of significance. We have this solution for two L tests. Its null is mu is equal to 368 grams. Its a uh, mu not equal to 368 grams. Alpha 0.05. N is 25 and the critical values is plus minus 1.96 to work with the formula of G we can have the mean minus the hypothesized value so 372.5 minus 368 divided by 15 this is the standard division over the square root of 25. The result is 1.5. And because the computed G is 1.5 less than 1.96, that is the critical value, we feel to reject the null hypothesis at alpha of 0 0.05 level. We can conclude that the sample does not provide sufficient evidence to support the claim that the mean is not equal to 368. So we have here the rejection region 
at 0.25 because it is a total test while the acceptance region is the unshaded portion so 1.5 falls in the unshaded portion that's why we cannot reject the null hypothesis that the mean is not equal to 360. Section to confidence interval. For x bar equals 372.5, sigma is equal to 15, and n is equal to 25, then 95% confidence interval is 272.5 minus 1.96 times 15 over the square root of 25. We have 366.62. While the higher value, that is 372.5 plus 1.96 times 15 divided by the square root of 25, the result is 378.38. So for this example, the hypothesized value of the mean, which is 368, falls in the interval estimate. Thus, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Example for one-tailed t-tests. Same question, same data, but the sigma is not given. So the hypothesized value is 368 grams. We can state our its null as mu equals 368 grams and the alternative hypothesis is mu greater than 368 grams. We have this solution for one tail tests. Example, cooking oils that are low in both cholesterol and saturated fats are often recommended for people who are trying to lower their blood cholesterol level or to lose weight. Many cooking oils that have no cholesterol still have saturated fat contents at 6% to 18%. Cooking oil made from soybean has been advertised as containing 15% saturated fats. A dietitian thinks that the percentage of saturated fats is greater than 15% and randomly selects 13 bottles of soybean cooking oil for testing. These bottles contain the following percentages of saturated fats 15.2, 16.9, 12.4, 14.3, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.9, 12.4, 14.5, 15.5, 16.
assume that the population is normally distributed. What would happen if instead of taking a sample of size 13, the dietitian takes a sample of size 39? Include the following additional observations in the original data set and test the same hypothesis at 0.01 level of significance. So these are the data plus the uh, 13 in the previous. So we have 39 sample size. So this is the result using PHSTAT. PHSTAT is a program that can analyze data. So null hypothesis mu is equal to 15. Level of significance is 0 0.01. Sample size is 39. Sample mean is 16.128. Sample standard division is 2.101. So based on the critical value of the tests, that is 4.4282, lower than the test statistics of 3.3529, and using also the p-value of 0 0.0009 which is lower than 0 0.05 level of significance we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is no sufficient evidence of the original claim. Thank you and God bless.